Jailed Kremlin critic Alexei Navalny was considered Russia's most prominent political opposition figure. From behind bars, Navalny used his court appearances to make defiant and angry anti-war speeches. Despite increasingly harsh prison conditions that included several stints of solitary confinement, he's called for nationwide protests across Russia against the war. For more than a decade, Navalny has braved physical assaults, poisoning, arrests, and trials during his quest to shine a light on corruption in his country and challenge Russian President Vladimir Putin. Putin's friends, получивши от него право украсть в России все, что они желают, отблагодарили его много чем, но в частности скинулись, собрали 100 миллиардов рублей и построили своему боссу дворец на эти деньги. The Kremlin dismissed the claims Navalny made in this video that was published a month before he was sent to a notorious prison in Pokrov. In 2021, he staged a 24-day hunger strike after claiming prison authorities had denied him medical assistance and that he was being tortured through sleep deprivation. A prison commission designated him a terrorist. Activists said the incarcerations here are often aimed at breaking Kremlin critics. Она даже не называется исправительная, она называется система исполнения наказаний. Она не исправительная. Система должна пугать. Она должна исполнять наказание, должно быть страшно. In August 2020, Navalny fell seriously ill on a flight in Siberia and was wheeled to an ambulance on the tarmac in the city of Omsk after an emergency landing. Doctors put him in a medically induced coma and he was flown to Berlin for treatment. Navalny recovered and several Western laboratories determined he was poisoned with a form of Novichok, a military-grade nerve agent. A report by Navalny and other investigators presented strong evidence that the Russian Federal Security Service carried out the poisoning, and Navalny accuses Putin of ordering it in an attempt to kill him, allegations rejected by the Kremlin. Always defiant, Navalny returned to Russia and was immediately detained at a Moscow airport. Здесь мой дом, я приехал сюда, и я приезжаю, меня все спрашивают, боишься, не боишься? Я не боюсь. A Moscow court ruled that while in Germany, Navalny had violated his parole terms from an older embezzlement case. The case was seen by Navalny and many in the West as a Kremlin-backed effort to derail his political ambitions. Те люди, которые сейчас обиделись на то, что они меня все-таки не убили, и я выжил, и теперь угрожают меня посадить. Navalny's incarceration set off a wave of protests across Russia and a crackdown against his supporters. <laughs> Thousands of Navalny supporters were detained. The European Union, the United States and Canada imposed a series of sanctions against Russia over the Navalny case. <laughs> In the last decade, Navalny has drawn tens of thousands of people to his political rallies, including many young people disillusioned with widespread corruption in their country and Putin's more than two decades in power. Focusing on Russia's oligarchs and political elite, the efforts of Navalny and his investigative team to expose corruption at the highest levels made him a target. In 2017, he was sprayed with a green antiseptic dye called Zelyanka that left chemical burns on one of his eyes. So, может быть, в Кремле считают, что я с зеленым лицом не буду записывать видеоролики, но я их точно буду записывать, потому что меня посмотрят ещё больше людей, и меня это совершенно точно не остановит. A lawyer by training, Navalny founded Russia's anti-corruption foundation, which was often raided by police before being outlawed in June 2021. He and his supporters have produced documentaries that got hundreds of millions of views on social media. They published a report on Russia's Prime Minister, Mikhail Mishustin, 
investigating the sources of his massive wealth that the politician claimed he earned legitimately. Мы собирали досье на Мишусина аж с 2015 года. Почему? Потому что всегда знали, что он вор и коррупционер. У нас есть все документы со всеми фамилиями и со всеми доказательствами. И сейчас мы расскажем вам, кто же стал вторым человеком в России. Навальный has been jailed more than 10 times since 2011. He announced he would challenge Putin in the 2018 presidential election. But criminal convictions that he said were instigated by the Kremlin made him ineligible to run for office. In a case tried twice, Navalny said charges that he embezzled funds from a forestry company were fabricated. He mounted a strong but unsuccessful campaign for Moscow mayor in 2013 and was barred from making a second attempt. In the case of Navalny versus Russia... But in 2018, Navalny won a symbolic battle against the Russian government at the European Court of Human Rights, where he challenged his repeated arrests. The European Court recognized that it was a politi political motivated uh, it was arrests and prosecution, which is very important not just for me but for other people all over the Russia who are arrested every day. Despite the personal risks, Navalny has fought relentlessly against fraud and injustice that he says reached the highest levels of the Kremlin.